Hey guys, so welcome to this week's vlog, which will be our entire week going to Northumberland, to Burgum. So we've got Zeb in the background there eating his breakfast, so he's probably a bit moody, aren't you buddy? So today we head off to Northumberland for five days, I think. So it's Tuesday to Saturday. We are just taking Zebedee to do the four star. So it's our first international of the year. I think it's actually the first international of the entire season, actually. So we're heading there to do the four star on Zeb. It's only my second four star. I did one at um, Balandenisk in Ireland last September. We did a vlog on that, so please check that out. Uh, so yeah, it's only our second four star and first international and only second run of the season. So fingers crossed, it all goes okay. Uh, so this morning I packed everything yesterday, sorry I didn't really film it, it was such a manic day. I had to teach three lessons because now I'm away, I can't teach. And then I had two dressage lessons on Zebedee and Maximus because Maximus goes to Wellington when we get back. And then, so there was just not much time packing but I packed everything. Zeb is bathed, he's had a trim, haven't you Zeb? He's all rubbed up. I've washed everything. I like to wash everything. I get a bit anal about that before I go away, like all of their rugs and everything, because I'm like, if you're going to wash them, then there's no point washing them today, putting dirty rugs on them all week, because by the time you compete, they're going to be dirty. So, yeah, so we had a really busy day yesterday. I've packed all my stuff. It is now 20 to 8. I've fed all the horses, and I'm going to quickly hop on Tiny and give him a school, because... I'm then not here for a week and I had a dressage lesson on Maximus yesterday and I didn't have time to do Tiny yesterday so Anna just hacked him out for me. So I'm just going to school him just because then I'm not here and the girls will ride him this week uh, and then we are aiming to leave at nine. Now dad is also riding Daisy down there, hey Daisy, and I don't know why the light goes weird here, he is supposed to be down here and he's not. And we're supposed to be leaving at nine and he's got to get the lorry out he's got to get all his stuff in and i've got to get the last few bits in but hopefully we will leave zeb definitely knows something's happening don't you zeb because he was getting washed whilst the lorry was being pulled out yesterday so i could wash it so zeb is i'm going to say super happy yeah he's not putting his ears back look he knows he's going to a competition don't you buddy and i think i've just heard bella coming down with dad Dad, say hello. There's Dad carrying the all-important wine for the trip. And there's the dog. Hello, Bella. Hello. Lunch in the services. Oh, I wouldn't mind a bit of that bit of apple. That's for the horse. <laughs> Can't I have a bit? Can you have a bit? There he is. Just giving him some water, aren't we, Zeb? I think Zeb is a bit fed up. We have been driving now for four hours, haven't we, buddy? Oh. How's your videoing going? Oh yeah, that's 
doing all right. That's Ashley walking with a wheelbarrow full of stuff, thumping gear as usual. Better out than in. Just urinating. Come on, Belle. Right, this is uh, Bergen. Well, it looks like any other place. It's just a field, green grass. It's quite warm. Weather's pretty good. No problems for the dog there. There's our setup over there. You can see us in the background there. We've got our gazebo up already. We've got our bikes this time, which actually makes a change. So, yeah, pretty happy. Evie's kitchen. There's Ashley walking down there with stuff as you do like a weirdo. Feet are saturated, which is always quite nice. This is the new COVID arrive compete lead. Please wash your hands, look some more sanitizer. This is the way of life at the minute. Hi. Hello. Now the two bales of shaman is gonna last us. Ten pound a bale apparently. Yeah. We could have bought a couple of bales, couldn't we? That's ludicrous. Absolutely ludicrous. There's 197 at Zuma on his stable. There's the setup of his stable. There's Zebedee's 197. Let's just pan down the stable yard. You can see it's actually quite pleasing and quite neat. We're going to let him eat some grass and not put any shavings down. I think shavings are sort of overrated, if you want my honest opinion. I'm not sure whether we what we think about. Well, hang on, I'm zooming my video myself now. <laughs> not really sure whether I think shavings are the answer, but. So, but as you can see, well, you can hang this up, we? Yeah, that's good. Mm -hmm. Hello. Hello. Zebedee this morning, his first ride of Wednesday, and he was wild, which is not ideal. He is sweating so much. I mean, it is hot. It's actually raining at home, and it's hot in Northumberland, so that's pretty good. Loads of people in the warm-up when we got here, and there were like three horses galloping around the outside, so that wasn't helping at all. But I did manage to calm him down, and we got some good work. We ran through our test, and actually at the end he was good. He just gets quite excited and tense. I've got to just make sure I can keep my leg on and him relax down rather than if I put my leg on get tense. But I did manage that towards the end so that's good. I am riding him for a second time this afternoon because that is something I guess some are finding ridden once a day when they're at a stay away show. Zeb, no. Made that mistake, went backwards down the centre line in Ireland at Mill Street. So we always have to ride him twice a day. So I'm going to walk him back now and sort him out. here actually this is quite scary Back in. Take it back in. Get it. Take it back in. Bella, get it. Get that back in. Hey, right.
Put it back in, Bella. Put it back in. something can go wrong fairly quickly because it all comes up very quickly but it's actually a very nice four star I'm not panicking like I was at Barbary Ball and Dennis was okay was good but I still there was a lot more not to think about this one just maybe Nick's right it does suit me I quite like it the only one is that six where you can't see a line through so we're gonna walk it another two times anyway and I need to do my minute markers and then I'm not on until 1.30 on Saturday and they start cross country at 9.30. So I'm definitely going to watch that number six. I'm going to watch number four, I think it is, just because I want to see how they ride that. I'm going to watch them at this one, this last combination and the, the last water. We've been round now. It's gone half past two. We are V peckish. I need three. quarter to three now, so I haven't had any lunch. So I'm going to get the barbecue on in a minute. I may have to have some crisps to keep me going. The dog has enjoyed herself. She's been in and out of the water. Look at that gorgeous pup there. Over and out. So second ride done on Zebra for Wednesday. It's now half six. I always like to ride him twice. And he was so fresh this morning. So I actually didn't just take him for a hack. I did ride him in the warm-up area just in my jump tack did some flying changes to get him accepting my leg and the flying changes i'm gonna have to stop this in a sec i'm going past somewhere and it's a bit awkward uh yeah and he was really good a rare sight somebody is grooming dad dad also looks a bit weird with his neck thing on but that's because he doesn't want to have a mask so he just pulls this up, don't you? <laughs> and that's his mask. <laughs> changes perfectly the only thing was the hole at the beginning he just didn't want to stand he was too excited and the uh walk to cans he had the wrong leg yeah which was annoying but apart from that i don't think we can complain he did the hard walk really nicely the two flying changes best flying change we've ever done in a test so
going towards the car park. Doing a, we're on the course now. We're just about to go show jumping. We're just watching a few um, on the uh, cross country now. So let's pass you over to Ashley and see how the nerves are faring with the old Ashmeister. How nervous are you on a scale of one to ten? Ash? Very nervous. Not on a scale of one to ten, but ten nine. being really nervous. Nine. 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 You're, over there, where they are, you You're nine, nine for nervous. Now back on video again. I quite like video, and this time I'm going to video the dog. Look at the dog. Bella, what have you got to say for how nervous are you on a scale of one to ten? Sausages. There's the dog. Looking pretty decent down there. Let's get a close up on Zebedee's face. See what he's, how he's feeling. Look into his eyes. Look into his eyes. Not into his nose, into his eyes. Well done, Zebedee. Looking pretty decent going to his eyes again. Nice. Okay, good. Feeling a bit nervous now, but she seems a bit better. She needs to be calmed down. We're giving it some now. I'm a little bit of a warm up. There you go. Trust him, it says trust what you're doing out there and that's what he's good at, get into a rhythm and just ride it. Just look at each part of the fence, look at the trees you're supposed to look at coming out the fences and get your line and get him to lock on. Yeah, once he's locked on he'll be fine. Yeah, so smile, tell me, tell me you're going to enjoy it. Just try and enjoy it. You've got to come out of there like you mean it. Just ride out of that start box properly. Got anything to say on that score? Right, concentrate, fully concentrate. Course is big and complicated, but this is nothing we can't handle. If I'll just video enough at the start here, you'll see what goes on. Uh, this is all the start box, quite nerve wracking because there's a few seconds of counts down. But look, he's getting excited now, so Nash is getting excited. Ashley, you're getting excited. She's very nervous again, but you can you can see what's going on now. So now they're counting down 30 seconds to go, and Ashley's going to get him going out the box. Here we go.
is Ashley now coming back off the cross country. Let's see what she's got to say for herself. Yeah. How was that then? Smashed it to pieces, yeah. didn't you? Oh, yeah. How did he feel? Well, like, that last water absolutely blew. Uh, Smashed it up, didn't it? Quality boy. He's a good boy. See, let's zoom in on Ashley's face. See, oh, see what it looks oh, like. Pretty fast as well. Yeah, you only had two points. No, I had six point four, but not many people are making the time. No, let's but zoom yeah, in. Let's zoom in on Ashley's face. Yeah. Huh? Maybe the horse's eyes again. He's got some heat in him. He looks like he needs some deodorant or a decent bath. Good boy. Four star boy. Okay, so we have finished our week at uh, Bergen doing the four star. So we've had a pretty good week. We got a 38.9 dressage, which we had two quite big mistakes. We didn't we wouldn't halt at the beginning and started going sideways. We'll put that in so you can see it. And then we also striked off on the wrong leg in the canter. So with two big mistakes to still get 38.9, I was really, really pleased and we weren't a million miles away from everyone else. Then on to the show jumping, which I was very, very, very nervous for, which we'll put some footage in of that. Um, I was just nervous because it was a really big track with, it was very technical and big and I hadn't had, I've only done one event since lockdown and I didn't feel as prepared. Um, so I'm really nervous in the warm up. We even had a stop in the warm up where he never stops. But he went in and jumped really, really well. Um, just had two down. He was jumping amazingly. Uh, and then I just fiddled from the distance eight to nine. So he added in an extra stride before the double and then added a stride in the double. So I had two down, which was really, really annoying because he didn't really deserve that. But I was really pleased because the rest he jumped really really well we had two time from that as well but that was just everyone was having time and i think if i hadn't have fiddled we probably would have made the time and then on to the cross country which was well it's only my second four star so it's quite tough uh, and he just was amazing around that jumped everything as you normally do then, don't you? um yeah he just made that feel quite easy we weren't even pushing for time and we finished with 6.4 time I think which not that many were making the time so that was actually fairly quick so overall we're really really pleased I think we're sitting in about 48th at the minute out of 70 so we started off at 64 61st. 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 Um, so to move up that much is pretty good we might move up a couple more places but the main thing is we completed our second four star with a clear cross country so i hope you enjoyed this video um, and you enjoyed getting to see how these big international events run it is a bit different at the minute because of covid let us know if you'd like to see more of these types of videos and please like share and subscribe because that would really help me out and i'll see you for the next one